Hi everyone and welcome to Lisa's Painting Parties. I'm Lisa and uh, you are here if you'd like to paint along with me this lovely Wednesday evening. Um, every week um, I paint here on this channel live um, and it's from a photo uh, that I have never painted before so um, you'll be joining me on this um, fun night just to uh, recreate and uh, have some fun with acrylics. So the photo that we are painting today is this beautiful covered bridge. Definitely will be um, technically challenging in terms of um, the lines and the angles. Um, there is not any type of template or anything if someone had asked earlier about that. So with all of my paint parties, I do them live and I'll talk you through how I'll approach recreating this. I do have like, I try to look for a ruler and I couldn't find one, but I found the next best thing, which is like the bottom of a three hole punch. <laughs> so that will give me a straight line and I'll be able to utilize that, I think. So if you have a ruler or something that will give you a straight line, I suggest grabbing it. I'm also going to be using a pencil too, just to sketch in a little bit. I feel like that will just help me really keep in mind and focus on how I want it all to look. Um, so I would suggest doing the same and I'll walk you through how that will be too. Hi Ruth. Hi Kathy. I'm glad you're both joining. Anyone else is joining, please feel free to say hi. I love uh, seeing you guys. Well, I can't really see you guys, but <laughs> I love that you join and uh, you comment and it makes it um, more collaborative and fun. Um, so if you haven't uh, joined before, um, what uh, what this is is every Saturday I put up three options on my paint party site and everyone votes on their favorite one. The one that has the most votes by the t following Tuesday at noon will be the one that I paint live on Wednesday and then you all join in with me and we all have a fun time and if you have any tips or tricks or anything else that you'd like to share with everyone please do and if you're joining um, I would ask you also to like snap a picture of your painting and share it with the group too because it's always fun to see what everyone else does. There's some really talented painters in this group so it's really nice to see that. Um, this photo, all the photos that I've been using um, last week, this week and, and onward um, are from Michael Lyons. He's a Canadian photographer who's based um, out of uh, outside of Toronto in Burlington, Ontario and um, he does beautiful, beautiful images. Um, he has a really keen eye and so I'm really excited to partner with him and so he's uh, allowing me to use his images. Um, so those are the ones you see. So if you really like the stuff, definitely check out his link um, and look at his other work and feel free to reach out to him if any, you have any projects or you need a photographer um, for anything you need. Um, or if you want to buy a print because these are beautiful. And when we paint, even though we're going to emulate it, my goal is not to be exactly. I want to have a painterly feel to it. So I am going to take some liberties and have some fun with it. And I encourage you to do the same thing too. So a few people had said they wanted to add some people walking or some of their silhouettes and stuff. So please do whatever your heart desires and I'll walk you through what that looks like. Um, if you would, um, if you'd like to leave a tip, there's a link below on buy me a coffee. You can do it there if you want to. It's not necessary. These parties are all free. They're all available on my paint party site on Facebook and also on YouTube. I cross posted there after the, the thing, just whatever is more convenient for you to watch. Um, the photographer Maria is Michael Lyons, uh, L Y O N S. I have it in the, like the little blurb that hopefully shows up somewhere <laughs> about like what we're doing tonight. Uh, but the link's there um, and it's also on my site as well. Um, uh, so yeah, so his beautiful work. Um, so definitely check it out. Okay, cool. So when we get started, there's a few things um, that you'll need for the paint party. Um, I always use acrylic paint. I use a very cheap acrylic paint from the dollar store. Uh, you can use whatever you so desire, um, but that is what I use predominantly. Um, so I have yellow, blue, red, black, and white. If you have those five colors, those are the main ones you'll need to be able to mix and create any uh, other color that you need. So I'll talk through there. I do have like a, a lighter blue, a bit of a darker blue as well. So I might play around with that because the sky is so bright and brilliant blue and I want to try to capture that a bit. 
Um, and if you have some pre-mixed colors too, feel free to tap in and use them however your heart desires to. But if you have those basic ones, you can go from there. I also have two containers of water just ready to go. I have some paper towel. Um, I have my canvas board. This is an 11 by 14 and I'm going to be doing it in landscape um, orientation. Um, I have my palette so I can mix all my paints um, or really just hold the paints a lot of times. I'll have to mix on my canvas so you'll notice. And I suggest having three paintbrushes. I suggest having a large paintbrush, a medium, and like a fine point. Um, I also today suggest having a pencil and some sort of ruler of some sort. My, well, straight edge. <laughs> this isn't a ruler. It's not going to give me any metrics on there, but that's all right. Um, and the paintbrushes I use for this one, I'm using a size 10 and it's a, a flat brush there. I'm using a size 2 for my medium and I'm using a size 4 for my thin, but it gives me a really fine point. Um, so those are the ones I'll be playing with primarily, but you can feel free again, choose whatever works for you. And if you're using a larger size or a smaller size canvas, you can change it up accordingly. All right, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna get started in just a moment or so. Um, and I, what I'll do is when I get started, I'll move the camera so it's more focused on the actual painting itself. Um, if you are having any gatherings and you would like to host a paint party, please reach out to me because I would love to work with you and have a fun uh, party and event. So feel free to reach out and let me know. Um, and I hope everyone else is doing very well. I also have my, I'm just going to make keep an eye out. There's been some uh, scammers that have been um, trying to put links and whatnot again. So if you see that pop up throughout my live, Feel free to let anyone else know, like not to um, click on the link. I'll try to keep an eye on it too and, and uh, delete or ban them as I see that happening. Um, but yeah, so I hope you're all ready to have a fun time with me to this afternoon, this evening. <laughs> it's been a day. I have my coffee ready. I have my nature sounds in the background. Copyright. If anyone out there is a musician of sorts and would like to use their music in the background, I am more than willing to do that as well. <laughs> Just tell your friends. Because um, copyright is a pain in the butt. So, anyways. All right. I'm going to move my camera. I'm going to just move it down a little bit so you can see that a little better. Okay, there's a bit of a glare. You may also would pref you might prefer just to grab the image from the site and just have it available as your own personal reference. Um, I did post the winning image this one um, on the site yesterday, so you could always do that and just have it available to you. If it's a little small, it's, it's a little glary. So, yeah. what can you do? Glary sounds like anyway. Sounds like Larry's cousin or something. I don't know why it happened. In my head that sounded really funny <laughs> saying it all out. It wasn't, but now I'm laughing at how silly it is. Okay, so I'm using my canvas board. Um, and so the first step that I'm going to do is I want to start to with my pencil and just kind of sketch in how and where I want certain things. Before I even do that, I want to look at the inspiration image and I want to try to emulate um, or reproduce, I should say, um, where all the angles are coming from and how much space they take on my canvas, right? So this is very centered, obviously, the actual covered bridge portion. Um, if we look here at right in the front of the canvas, the whole front bottom of the canvas is taken out by this walkway, right? But then it goes in quite significantly, right? And it only goes up, if we look at the whole canvas as a whole, this part of this walkway is only about one quarter of the actual whole image. So that's what I'm going to do. So I only want the thickest part of that walkway is only going to be one quarter of my canvas. So that's what I want to kind of like point out first. So I'm going to just eyeball it and just say, okay, that's about a quarter, I think. I'm just going to with my fingers and see if that works yeah okay so I'm gonna say about that right and if we look about midway more or less we're looking at about here so that walkway is only going to about there which if I hadn't done that I feel like I would have made it a lot bigger because it 
scale is a lot bigger. It seems very small to do it here, but this is where we're going to have it, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just eyeball and just sketch slightly on my canvas, like a bit of a line. Okay, because also this width of here, of, the, of where it actually goes into the bridge, is what? It's like, so it's one, two, three, four, five. So it's like one fifth of your canvas horizontally. So if I look at it here, it's like one, two, one, two. I can probably make it a little bigger. And you can be more precise if you want to, and you have like a ruler, feel free to go as precise as you want to. I'm not going to be super precise because I kind of like the imperfect imperfections <laughs> of doing it. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to eyeball it like that and say, okay, so that, that kind of works. And I just said that, and then I'm going to get my ruler and try to see. So first I'm just going to look at it from my way. Okay. So now I want to bring this out to the corners. And we're going to be painting more on top of this too. So like this is more just for your reference. So I'm going to bring my point from here and I'm going to put my ruler right to the corner and I'm just going to bring it out like that. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to do it on my lap because it's like impossible for me to do it standing up there. Okay, so I have kind of like a an idea of how I want this to be. And this obviously is not bothering me because all these other lines are straight. And now the line I made before is not... Oh, you know what? It actually worked really nice. One quarter of my canvas is actually the size of the thing I grabbed. That was kind of nice. Nice when things work out like that, eh? Okay, so we have it like that. Okay. So I feel like I'm going to spill my coffee behind here. Okay, I think I need to move my camera phone to so spill my coffee. I don't have a panic attack. That, that's a good way of approaching things. Okay, so right in the middle here, we have this little clearing at the end of where that bridge is, and it's really tiny. It feels a lot, I don't know, I, I, it's, obviously this is very impactful, but it's very small. So this is about pretty much centered on this line. And again, if you want to be precise, then I would suggest measuring it out. I'm not going to be, and I am running the risk of it looking a little bit wonky because everything is so precise, but I'm just, I'm going to, I'm just going to go with it. So I'm just going to create a slight curve, even though I know it's more angular, just to give me my point of where that's going to be. So I just made a little curve right in the center or where that is. And again, if you want to be precise, measure it, and then you can literally do it so that it fits perfectly in there. But math is not what I'm going to be focusing on today. Oh no. Okay, next what we're going to look at is here, when we look at the actual railings of this bridge, it's the, the closest, the furthest point away of these railings is about the same height as this opening. Right? So I'm looking at things in relation to it. So maybe slightly higher, I suppose. So like this here, and it, and it basically ends where that ends there. So I'm going to make kind of like, and again, you can use a ruler to be more precise. You can kind of like run a line along and decide where that point is and then run along a line along this way. And say, okay, where do, where do those two things meet? So it's about there, I suppose. Right? And then we can... I should probably just use the line. Realistically. So I think I'm going to bring up the line on both sides. Make sure, you know, let's just put this flat down, shall we? That. And then I'm going to say, okay, where is that? I'm going to bring it a little higher. Okay, so that's where it is on either side. So that's this part here and here, just to get, again, 
get your eyeballs in that. And here, it's not going to follow the same path here because if you make it straight down, that's going to look weird. With perspective, this is going to be smaller and it's going to come out bigger. And when we look here, this is almost half, which is kind of crazy, of your actual canvas, right? So it's actually going to come upwards. So I would say figure out and look where halfway point of your canvas would be. And again, this would be great if it had numbers on it. But I'm going to, again, try to eyeball it and say, okay, like, I think it's going to be about right here, more or less. And I need to bring it across, and this is too small. <laughs> the other way I can do it, I suppose, is I'm going to get this, and I'm just going to a line on that. Perfect. And then when I bring it on this side, no, I need to use this. Sorry. There. Okay. So I just use this to measure how high this was here from the bottom to the middle. And then I just took my measurement and I just brought it over without using any like numbers or anything. Okay, this is the boring part <laughs> of like trying to figure out. I, I would I really want to make it look as realistic as possible. So now I'm going to connect that point I made to that point I made over here. I'm going to just join them together like that. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm going to do it on my lap again. And it's the same thing from that point in there, the point here. Okay. So now I have my perspective going just by using little point and angles of what I want to see. When I actually start painting, the first thing I'm going to paint is that sky, but I do want to figure out where and how things are going to relate to one another, and I feel like this is the best time to do so. So here we are. <clears throat> okay. So. And then this bridge comes out. So the bridge railings come in to here. We have this middle part, which maybe needs to be a little smaller now that I look at it, but we'll leave it as is for now. And then the tip top of this point is like so close to the actual top of the picture. And again, it's going to align to wherever we kind of made that middle point to be. So this middle point is about here, right? So again, I want to bring it up and that middle point is going to be about here like that. So I just made a little point as to where the tip toppy of that is going to be. Okay. And if we look at how far out this goes, right? Again, they're going to be equal on both sides. So that we need them to kind of be on the same axis. Is that the right word? Um, and we want it to be far enough away. So when we, again, compare it to where it is here, we say okay so let's say it's like one so again it's about like more than it's like more than um a quarter in one yeah it's like more than a quarter in so I would say if I'm going to eyeball it, I, I'm going to eyeball one side, I think, and then I'll just make the other side match. I think that would be the best way to do it. So I want this corner to be about here. Oh, Uncle Way, I need you for sure. Okay, so I'm just going to put this like that, and I think I'm going to eyeball it and say, let's see, and from here, the middle is here. Only, it's just like about here. So I just made a little mark. And then I'm going to bring that same mark over as well. And that's going to be tricky too, because first thing is, I'm going to measure it from... I thought I didn't want to make it too uh, specific.
specific and here I am making it like extremely specific. I just made a line there and I'm going to bring it on this side. But hopefully this helps someone. Someone's like, oh, the process is very crazy. I like it. It fits my brain. <laughs> it all works nicely. I feel like that's way too big though. Yeah, I think I went a little bit too crazy. I think that's a little too far. I'm going to bring it them in more. Yeah, that seems a little much. I think this should be more like here. And okay, so I'm just mark it there. And then do the same thing on this side. And mark it there. And there's my point. And then I'm just going to mark it there. About okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have it come here instead. So it's about like one. Okay, this is the middle. It's like, if we split everything up in four, it's a little bit further in than where we want it to be. That first marking is a little bit too far out. Hopefully this is helpful. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna bring it down to connect now. So much for free flowing painting tonight. This is all specificness. I think it's going to be really cool when it's done. I hope it turns like it. I'm going to be so disappointed if I do this all in a minute. It still looks like a badly constructed bridge. <laughs> I'll be like, no. Okay, there's my point. I think I'm okay with that. Cool. Okay. So I don't know if I want to continue painting it, or sorry, continue drawing it out, or if I want to just start painting some and then going back to it. I think... I think I, I really want to start painting. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And then we'll go back to our thing and we'll finish it up with more lines and all that stuff. Cool? All right. Let us start the painting process. Okay. So the first thing I want to paint is the beautiful bright blue sky and put in some of the clouds that are here. <clears throat> so I want to use, I have two types of blues. I have a really bright one, which this one's called tropical blue. And again, it doesn't matter what you have. Like if you have a lighter one and a darker one, I would suggest going with more of a brighter one. Um, but you can always use white to lighten it up a little bit. It's just sometimes when the pigment is so deep, um, it doesn't create brightness it just makes it like a lighter dull blue if that makes sense so it, it is helpful to have some different premix colors especially when they're from like the dollar store because <laughs> they're a cheap um but then uh, you just have a little bit more variety also when you're using dollar store paints too the way they're mixed um the pigments already sometimes kind of funky it might already have like different tones of like white or other shades of things um, that will impact the integrity when you're mixing. I look at that as kind of like a happy surprise and I just kind of go with the flow. If you're more structured, you may not enjoy that process and I don't blame you. Okay, so I'm going to start by putting some blue. I think I'm going to, I put my darker blue as well and I put my lighter blue too. I think I want to, I almost want to do a bit of a, a mix between the two because my peacock bright blue is very bright but my Copenhagen blue is like kind of dull. So I'm gonna mix them a little bit to kind of get like a little bit softer of a color. Okay, so I'm just gonna start popping that in. And the sky's pretty solid this time. It's very much like one shade. So I'm gonna just put this in. It's gonna change up a little bit because I'm mixing the my blue and I wanted it to be not just like the one blue. I'm gonna try to maintain the integrity of my lines, but we'll see. I feel like that's gonna throw me off 
in my paint strokes. I'm going to try it this time. I'm going to try something a little different, almost like coloring effect, I suppose. There was a, an artist we painted or tried to emulate, um, Lisa Lawrence, and she had um, beautiful, she still does beautiful work, um, and it was all very blocked in color. Almost like it kind of, for me, gave me the vibe of like almost like a coloring book. But when I say that, it's sim I feel like it simplifies it like too much. And it's it wasn't simple at all. Like her images were just so vibrant and beautiful and bright and colorful. That's the kind of vibe this has given me. Blocking the colors very... This way, and then we'll pop our clouds in. Because really, with this beautiful sky, the emphasis is those bright, beautiful clouds. I'm just going to put in this blue pretty solidly. Once I have a good base, then we'll start playing with those fluffy, bright, beautiful clouds. And there's a nice tree living on this side, too. Let's just get this sky in first. Okay, so bright and beautiful sky. And I'm aware you can kind of see the background in the front here. I don't think I'm going to try to emulate that with this one. Not at the moment anyways, like I might end up adding that maybe later, but I think I'm just going to simplify it a bit just for my own sandy. <laughs> just going to clean off this big brush because I want to move and use a different brush to start playing with the clouds. Okay, so let's go. I want to use my medium sized brush. And with the clouds, still wet, but I'm going to play with them right away and see what happens. And you can get some cool things when you do that. So I have this, I'm actually using a slightly larger brush. I, this is a number four brush for this. I, I usually use my number two for the medium, but I'm going to just go this route. And I'm just going to pop in... lightly dab in some white start getting a bit of a cloud happening here I 
and because the paint is still wet under it's mixing a little bit with the blue and I'm liking that and then after once it dries a bit more I'll play I'll put a little bit more white on top if it's not if it doesn't give enough emphasis And then I have some more here. And when I'm doing this, I'm trying to be cautious because I don't want it just to be like a stamp. I want it to look more natural and like fluffy and I want this one to be behind. Okay, so I'm just dabbing. And clouds are weird shapes, so don't get um hung up on it. Just have fun and dab. I like doing clouds this way. I've, I've enjoyed it because it feels more free and just more organic and I like the way they've turned out in other paintings we've done. I want some to go behind this covered bridge. When I first started doing it this way, it always freaked me out because I never thought they, like, when I'm doing it, I don't think they look very good. And then when you add or build a bit more, they end up coming more and more to life. I remember at first, I was always like, oh my gosh, what is this? What is going on? Giant cloud on that side. I don't know if I'm going to do that giant cloud. I'm not sure if I want to do it. <sighs> You know what? Why not? Let's go for it and see what happens. Maybe it looks good, maybe it doesn't. It's all good. Figure it out. So I'm just putting in white here. Giant massive guy. Dabbing in the bright cloud. Still some of this darker shade coming, which is good. I want it to be a little darker below. Pretty massive going on over here. Okay. The vibe of this big guy here. I'm really glopping on the paint. That's kind of, I'm feeling that thickness. It's feeling right today. Sometimes I'm very conservative with the paint and sometimes it's like, yeah. Put it on. Today's one of those days.
well. And then I just want to put in a few little, like, oh, that did not work where I wanted it to. That's okay. Whatever, I'll just make it more into a bit more of a cloud formation, even though I didn't really want that. That's okay. We'll make it work. No problem. I'm going to put a few little, like, lines. A little bit more, a little cloud. Cloud residues, I don't know. Lots of clouds going on. This looks very weird. <laughs> so when I look at it back on the screen, it's always really funny to me. <laughs> it was like a giant weird pyramid coming out of the sky. <laughs> I'm digging it. It's fun. It's like an Illuminati type thing, right? Like it looks like that full on. Okay, so from here, I want to let that dry a little bit, and I might go on top and add a little bit more white to it if I want to have some more clouds kind of pop. I want to um, pop this tree in. That's one of the things I want to do early on um, before I get into other things, but it's still too wet, so I think I'm going to have to go on um, and start constructing some of the bridge. Yeah, I think I'm going to start with the base here of the bridge, and then we'll work from there. That's my plan, my plan of ram. All right, so if you have brown, you can use that and then mix, like, yellow or white into it to get some lighter values. Um, if you need to mix a brown, what you can do is you can add equal parts of red, yellow, and blue. And you mix them, equal parts of each, and then you'll get a brown. Depending on the red, yellow, blue you have, and depending on the tints already in them, um, that will affect what kind of brown you get. It might look more grayish. It might look more, like, maroonish. Like, it can change depending on what's there. So that's just a heads up. But it will still give you a, a base to, to play off of. I like to... Um, uh, lighten or not always lighten. I do like to lighten the brown with the white, but I, I do also enjoy mixing with yellow um, and bringing that out a little bit. So I think it looks a little bit richer. Um, so I'm going to be using a pre-mixed brown just for ease. This is like a, it's called cinnamon brown. That's the only brown that I have um, at the moment. It's pretty um, dark. So I'm going to lighten that up. Um, with my white and I'm going to do kind of like just a base coat of how I want this to, to be here and the way I want to approach this part is I'm not going to worry about what it actually is which is like single boards I'm just going to get the vibe of it so I just want to get the color on here there's like lighter browns and then there's like a bit of a darker browns and then there's you can see some little stripes in there to give the idea of like each of those boards so 
that's what I want to get. I want to get the, the vibe and the feeling of it. I don't want it to be exactly like it. So, um, first of all, let's make a lighter brown because this brown is way, 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 way too intense for me. So I'm just mixing my brown with my white and I just put a little bit of yellow into it too because it was a little, uh, still too intense for my liking. It might still be, it still seems a little bit dark, but we'll go from here. Yeah, it's still a little bit off in the color I want, but that's okay. We'll start with this kind of sandy vibe. So I'm just going to follow my line that I made down and I'm just going to basically color it in, essentially. So I'm using my medium brush, it's my number four brush again, just to get this part in. Draw a little too light for my liking, or too dark for my liking. Okay, so now I want to start, if it goes in a little bit off the railings, it's fine. <laughs> it's actually funny because it is literally on the railings. Okay, so I want it to be lighter back here. I'm just going to put that in slightly. And I want it to be lighter. to kind of keep adding whenever you're painting what on what if you want whatever color you're putting on to, to remain the focus. I need more white as I go. There we go. I'm just trying to sweep it to go in the direction of the way these boards would be, to get the vibe of the boards being like that, but I'm not stressing about um, each individual one. I'm just getting the feeling of it and just putting the lines in to make it get the idea that there's all these wooden boards that make up this bridge. I'm just going to bring it all the way across and I'll add the darkness back in, I think. I think that's my plan. Plan of action. Yes. So it's pretty, like, weirdly epic. Like, this again, is like a weird pyramid triangle. <laughs> I'm really digging it. Okay. I like that. Okay, so now I want to make it a little bit darker, and I want to, I don't know if this is the right brush for it, maybe I should have used a better one. Okay, it's fine, whatever, I'll just use it. I want to put a little bit of darkness going down center. So 
giving me vibes of like when we do water. Just kind of that vibe, I think. Feels like that. I'm gonna just make that a little bit not as impactful back there. Tighten up this on the other side of it. Right, and it kind of goes a little bit like mm, it's a little thick. It's okay. A little bit of that darkness can come out a little bit. Just a smidgen. Yeah. There we go. Happy with that? I think so. A little bit older. I need to dull it out a little bit more. Yeah. And I need to emphasize it a little bit more in here. I think that's good. I'm creating lots of shadows myself on here. Okay. I'll add, uh, like, I do know there's like a bit of a shadow here from the side. I'm not going to do that. I'll worry about that just yet. But I have noted it. And there's some more lines too that we could always put in. thinking that I want to have a little bit of that water that we can kind of see in the background still peeking around the base here. So I think I want to put that in before I do anything else with this barrier. Now the water is a very, something like a gray blue, but I think I'm just going to go in with the blue. And just pop a little bit in here so I'm just gonna Don't go in here. Okay, so I just want to put in a little bit of that background there. Just so when we put in the bridge, it will pop through the holes, I think, in the front. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side, too. too much about that. I do want to do a little bit lighter though. Okay, so we have some water in the background before we put in the sides of our <laughs> sorry every time I look at it. <laughs> it does make me laugh. 
Anyways, okay, cool. Cool, cool. Okay, the other thing too is in here we want it to be brighter as well. It looks like there's clouds in the background. Back there are some trees. I'm not going to worry about that just yet, actually. We'll leave that for now. Okay, so what is next? Okay, I think I want to start fleshing this guy out. And I still want to do that tree as well. I think I want to do this, start this first. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Okay, so how am I going to approach this? I'm going to get my number two medium brush, I think, and that's what I'm going to be using to paint this. And so I want to get, this is almost like a gray to be honest, up here, and there's still some brown. Again, I'm not. I don't think I should, I'm going to worry too, too much about the specific color. I want to just get some color on and get the shape, and then I want to build on top of it with the right colors and the right emphasis at that point. So the same thing. I'm going to go and I'm going to put in. Figure out a color. I think I do still want it to go a bit more on a gray side. I'm going to get a little bit of black and throw it into my white. But I still want a little bit of brown happening. The color is going to be hard to replicate. Okay. It's kind of a gray. Yeah. Okay, and I just want to pop in all the lines that I created before. Going here. Okay, so I don't know if I want to draw it and then fill it in. I think maybe I do. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do that. So from here, it kind of comes out. Um, and here, that's the inside. The outside is a bit out further. So it kind of like put there more off. Okay, just looking at the thickness of these parts here. And then it's going to end up going straight up, but it's going to come up this tip. So when it comes up, it kind of curves into here. <laughs> okay.
And that's kind of what it's going to look like. Ha ha ha. That's going to be interesting to try to replicate on the side. Okay. So I'm just looking at the line to try to see the thickness and try to mimic it. And like I said, it's going to be interesting. Okay, so I'm going to try to bring I think that's how I'm going to do it. We'll see if that ends up working out or not. Not with paint over it! <laughs> okay, and then I think... Okay, so I am going to do that. I am going to draw in kind of like how thick I want that line to be. Sorry, I'm really in my head about this one. I apologize for all the talking. I feel like this doesn't make sense though, where the line is, but eh, we'll go from there and see what happens. Okay, and then yeah, I feel like that the angle is off. Yeah, because it kind of goes out more like that. You know what? That's what the issue is. This needs to be like this. This needs to be an angled like that. That needs to be an angle like that. And then that can curve out. And then that can curve out. Like that needs to have the angle outwards. I think, I think. Yeah, because this has to be smaller the one I've made it. Paint over that, I guess. Yes, that's better. And then this kind of comes up. But it kind of comes up and out and then curves and then this kind of goes up correct and there's a bunch of stuff that goes on otherwise okay so let's play with those guidelines and see what happens okay oh 
Okay. So. We want to get rid of all of that. So I don't know if anyone's been commenting or anything, but I haven't seen any comments for about an hour. So if you have commented, um, just know that nothing's coming up. So I'm not ignoring. <laughs> In case you did, and I'm not sure why that's happening that way. Just wanted to call that out just in case. And if no one's commenting, that's totally fine. I just want to make sure no one thinks that I'm ignoring them. Okay. Just fill all this in. Okay. Okay, and then I want to put in a darker area too. use my fine brush to get in there a bit better. bit darker on either side. I need to make that a little bit more detailed with my thinner brush.
So we just have Otsas, a little bit of Daka. Okay. So, I want to do a little bit more with this. Okay, so I want to... What do I want to do first? It's definitely, I can see there's some darkness. Just under this lip, so I'm gonna put in draw in this lip. Down slightly. Brown. I'm gonna get the gradation a bit of the from the dark shadow to like the brown to like a bit lighter. That's what I'm trying to do right now. brown. I want to put it a little bit more on either side. And then I want to dirty it up a little bit with the white. And then I'll add some little details to make it 
to look better. black in there. So I'm playing a little bit with like the texture of this bridge. It's not fully necessary. It could just be one color. So I'm doing that and then I'm going to put in some specific white lines and black lines to make it look and pop a little bit better. So that's what I've done so far. It's really hard to see. I know this is a little glary. <laughs> going to keep putting in the color I want so I want to start putting that in as well but I really want to do some other detailing I think I'm going to do the detailing it's not usually where I would go first but I really want to play with it so I'm going to do it so I'm going to get um, my black my thin brush and there's like a, a, like a very thin I may need to water down a little bit to make sure my paint is very easy to spread. Is that the right word? Putting like lines like, makes things like stand out and pop really nicely because there's a couple little like texture lines that live on this side. A wood. Okay, next I want to do a little bit where okay, so I want to put a line 
a curved line as well. I'm going to do that from right here to right there. Okay, and we do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to go here. To about there. So I'll just put a few little curved lines there and there. When you put, again, when you put the outline, the black outline, and I'm going to do some white lines on it, all of a sudden it's going to look from like, wah wah, to like, ooh. That's what happens when you start, like, the first part, again, when you're just putting the color on, it's kind of just like a, a mix of randomness almost, like it feels like that, at least for me it always does. And then we put the little details in, that's when things start to pop and come alive. So here too, I'm just going to put a white line around this curve. I also need to put some water in my white because it's very thick. And do the same thing here. That. Okay. And then there's also a line just above this black line I already drew. And then a line here. Ta -da, da 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 Okay. Next up. A see if you're in Oshawa right now. That's amazing. So cool. I know you asked about my studio, but I don't have a studio. I just work from my home. <laughs> I don't have like a public space. Put some lines on either side of this black line that I made earlier. It's hard to find it. Okay, and then I want to put a white line on the side here too. I'm gonna do another one on this side. Like that, and I'm gonna do it on the inside as well. And I'm gonna do it on this side as well. like Sue. Okay. And I want it to come around and I feel like this is going to be a little preemptive, but I'm still going to outline this. I haven't done the inside yet, so I normally would do all that first and then I would do these details, but I'm feeling like I want to do that now. So I'm going to. above it and it kind of broke off a little bit but we'll leave it we'll leave it be I guess. Maybe I'll emphasize it a little bit more now. There we go. Okay. And then I want to put in some little lines of all the little wood. Put 
making a, a few little white lines. I'm trying. I'm not making them like super solid. They're kind of like fading in and out a little bit. I'm trying to keep them as thin as possible, but I am trying to make them about the same size across. As I go across. Um, pretty cool. So I just put little lines like that to give that V by like all the little the beams that are going on. Okay, so there is like a little like circle dot thing here, so I'm gonna put in that little element thing right there. I don't know what that is. I'm putting it in. Okay. Oh, and then I think. Well, hi, Joanne. Yeah, absolutely. No problem. You can always watch it later. This definitely is is one that will take some time and you need some patience on. Okay. So. Gonna put, I'm gonna put that little black line in between here. Just put that there. I think that's all right. Um, I'm debating whether I want to put in some more lines and mess it up, but I don't know if I want to right now. I think I want to leave it as is. I do want to put a few more like lines coming down the sides here. I'm gonna just do with white for now, and then I'll put some other ones in. a few little data lines like that. I'm gonna do the same thing in black too. Maybe it'll be more of a gray realistically, but Yeah, that looks neat. I like it. Okay, so do do do. Okay, I want to do. I want to paint this guy here. I want to get that guy in like a blue, like a maybe bluey white, very light, very light sky blue kind of vibe.
of that. Cool. A little blue sky in the background there. Then, okay, I think I want to get my pencil again, and I want to just, cause I, I, love, I love this, like, sheet that's in the middle there. It, it's so cool looking, and I feel like I'm not going to, do like, capture it properly, so I'm going to say, okay, so this line here is about, it's wider than that guy there, so it's about, like, here, more or less. And then this comes jutting up. And then comes jutting up like that was weird. Okay. Find the camera? No, I'm okay. okay. Superman symbol, eh? Right? And really, like, that blue is actually, like... Paige! Carter! Hello! You found me! You were looking and looking! Oh my goodness! Why was it so hard? That's so strange. It should have just been right on my, my paint party page. It's supposed to be like whenever I'm live, you can go on the page and it pops up, but maybe it's not, doesn't sound as like that, it's that easy. <laughs> I hear that from you. That's not so good. Okay, so I'm going to, you can rewind this to page, so, um, and it'll be up on the site after, so if you just found me then obviously like you're like oh <laughs> where are you guys now <laughs> okay so um I created the superman symbol in the middle there this lovely shape right there that's going to be really dark and we're going to have the other look like lines coming from all around so I think I'm just going to start blocking in the color that I want so I do want this to be black pretty much so let's just put black in there and we'll go from there. And we'll add some other elements to it afterwards, I guess. And play with it. A little bit more. Uh, 
All right. I think I'm going to try to create that similar shape at the bottom there. So I want it to be flat. I feel like I made that look very weird. Okay. I'm gonna straighten it up a little bit. in the other beams so it looks like it makes a bit more sense. So we're going to get some more brown. I want it a little bit darker so I'm going to put some black in it and make it a very dark brown. Just gonna get the color in and then we can put the details afterwards. Just want it to be like a dark brown and that black in that middle there. So I'm just putting in this like darker brown back here, blocking that in. It's very hard to see it because the black and this darker brown look very similar, but there is slight color difference in them. I'm going to just do the whole thing in this darker brown and then, I'm, and then I'll add other colors on top of it, similar to how I did the rest of this covered bridge to like create so you can actually like see the See what's going on in here. Okay, now we have the background there, 
<laughs> I have no patience, Kathy says. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I definitely feel you, Kathy. This is very meticulous. I definitely, this is definitely a challenge for me. I I really like doing free-flowing, like, um, you know, skies or waters or trees. This is very particular, um, and I, I'm enjoying it because I think the, the end result's going to make me feel very happy. But, like, some of this is is very challenging. <laughs> so I feel, yeah, I think we have a bit of a similar <laughs> style and vibe. So I, 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 yeah, I feel you, girl. Okay, so now that we got that blocked in, I'm going to let it dry a bit before I put in some other stuff because I want um, to put the emphasis a bit more specific and clear. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to move on to the sides, I think. Uh, this one's taking this one is taking a long time. It needs a lot of love and attention. Or maybe I'll do the tree just to like break out of our break out of our specific shell and just like put a tree in for fun. Maybe I'm gonna do that. You know what? I think I'm gonna do that. Let's 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 put a tree. Let's let's play with that tree, shall we? Let's go go nuts. Go nuts and play with the tree. Okay, I'm gonna get some black and I'm gonna get some branches going and be a little free flowing for a little while before I go back in and start doing more structural work. Okay, so this tree's kind of, there's like a, branches that are just kind of like hanging out. So we're just gonna have fun with it. And I'm just gonna get a branch and just start ringing it up and up. And I just want to keep everything further away is going to be thin. And as I get closer to where the trunk is, my branch gets thicker. It's a pretty dominant branch that I'm making. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight, because the branch can have different like knots in it. to come out thin. Yay, like that. Yeah. There we go. Oh, fun. This is free for me. Pretty branch. Okay. Still, I guess there's still a little bit of like being specific about it, but it becomes it's a little bit more forgiving and you can just kind of play with the tree. another one maybe back
Just bring in different little branches. Maybe I want that branch to actually be attached to that tree. <laughs> it's kind of just like floating like that doesn't make sense. Then there's going to be that like bridge and we see some other little branchy things sticking out in other spots. Oh, thank you, Kim. Yeah, this one is neat, but yeah, I agree with you. This takes, this is a, a process. <laughs> Absolutely. Cool. Are we digging that? I don't know if I'm going to do more of these trees. I'm not sure. The tree, it, it's fun, but I kind of want to move on and do some other stuff too. Go back and do more of the. Show more of the tree. I want to have it kind of falling off of the side of the canvas too. I keep making branches that aren't connected to things. <laughs> I have to like go back and like going a little bit too much with this but I'm digging it I like I love trees love them okay so I know there's some trees on that side too 
I'm not going to do them right yet. I want to... Ooh, I kind of want to put some trees in the background there, too. There's a lot of guys standing. Hmm. No, we're not doing that. I am going to start on the sides. Or maybe I want to do the middle. I don't know what to do next. Okay. Too many choices. Okay, I want to. I want to do for the stuff in here first before I move on to the sides. That's what I want to do. So I'm going to, now that it's dry, so I took a little break and played with some trees. I'm going to get the brown that I was using, a cinnamon brown, and I'm putting a little bit of yellow in it to kind of make it a bit of a toasty color. So I can play with some of the light that's happening in here. So what is happening in here? Well, there's a little bit of an emphasis right here with that top or that space is there. We have another like bar happening like just above it. <laughs> the paint is drying so I have to put some more water in it otherwise it's like super clumpy and it's not going to do what I want it to do. Okay, and then I want to there's like a line that's like a bit higher it's like across this and there's another line that's like across the top there and it's a bit broken that's all right it's gonna work in our favor okay and then I want to put a line here and then I want to put a line here another one like this Another one like that, I think. Yes, maybe, maybe not, maybe, maybe yes. And then I'll put another one like here. It's thicker, but that's okay. It kind of works, actually. Okay. It definitely looks wobbly, guys. My structure has become wobbly. That's okay. Okay, and there's also some other ones that are going down like this. Worst case, I can paint over it and play around with it a bit more, so that's fine. <laughs> it's a good question, Kim. Um, the cinnamon brown that I'm using, I just want to say the color of it. It's just uh, the one I got from the dollar store. So if you, and it's just the brown that I have that's pre-mixed, and I'm using it just because it's convenient. Um, but if you don't have brown, you need to mix uh, equal parts of red, blue and yellow together and you will get a brown. The trick or th is that um, depending on the primary colors that you're mixing, um, they might already have some pigments in them. So the brown might end up being a bit more like gray brown or more red brown. It depends on the base of it and that's where it's a little tricky. It doesn't have to be cinnamon brown. I'm just, I just want to let you know the one that I have, but it's just because it's convenient, not because it's like my preferred brown that I'm using. Putting some straight lines down here. Basically just following what I can see in the painting and the picture, sorry, the photo, and just, and, and just like, kind of,
So I just put some lines going down. <laughs> Kathy, you're the best. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for buying me a copy. It's funny because I just, I ran out of the one that I started with today. Oh, absolutely, Kim. Um, I do think that would work. Uh, I think, yeah, like a burnt orange would look really good. And it just depends on the tones, how you wanted to make that come out. Um, I would put a little bit of black because black is like super powerful, right? So you just want to add less black than you think and then kind of go from there. Um, and red might make it look really nice and warm too. I would play with that. I think that sounds like a really good combination. Hi, Jody. I'm so happy you stopped in to say hello. I hope you're having a great time in Minnesota. That's awesome. It's vacation time, so I feel like, yeah, there's like not as many. Winter seems to be when everyone's around for paint parties. I guess winter and like lockdown. <laughs> That's when we're busier, which I suppose makes a lot of sense. All right, so I have this going. I, I'm digging it. I think it's working well. I'm noticing there's like a little like kind of go like that. So I'm just gonna put like little. I'm just kind of see as they go further back. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool. All right. Thank you, Jody. This one is uh, super challenging for me. <laughs> I just want to be like free form with my water and my sky, and this is challenging me quite a bit, which I think I need. It's good. It's good. It's good to be challenged. Okay. So I want to put in this gate thing that we have going on. Okay, how shall we approach this? Okay, let's pick a color we want to use for it. It's going to be some sort of brown. <laughs> All right, let's play with that and go with it. So let's go with my brown, but I want it to be a little bit lighter than that brown I have right out of the bottle. So let's mix some white into it. Maybe I'll put a little bit of yellow into it. We'll see. I'm digging that or not. Nah, I don't know if I like that actually. Drop a little bit of black. Let's make it a grayer. Dirty it up a little bit. Okay. It's a little dark. Okay, so let's put in our lines. So. I think I'm going to just block in this as the main color and then I will do more with it afterwards, I think, I think. I won't do it on top of the blue, but I'll block in this background area, that color. And then on top of the blue, we'll have to play with it a little bit more. I'm going to bring it all the way across, I think. Am I? I'm just not really. Yeah. yeah, I guess I should have done that. I do it like that. That makes more sense. There's a little gap. Okay, sorry, I'm going to have to hold this for a moment while I do this side. Okay. 
Awesome. Just wanted to do that first. Okay. And then let's plot in. I want to just color this all in. And then we'll define it up afterwards. It looks weird with the water, but I'm going to go with it for now and then I'm not going to stress about it. It's going to be more of a solid vibe. Okay, so now we have kind of an idea of where that border is going to be. It looks really weird right now, but that is okie dokie. And we'll all start plotting in how that will work. Okay, so while that just sets for a moment, I'm going to plot in my man walking in the background. My man, I don't know, person, I shouldn't assume gender. But, for a little dot for the head. And then we're going to outline the body a little bit. And bring the legs. Down. There we go. A little person in the background. We will put another little person. Maybe not be so lonely, you know. We want to put another person. We'll put a smaller person. Two little figures. Put like a dog or something too. I think so. Let's see if this is where I'm going to ruin the picture. Yeah, it's like an animal of some sort. I think I rock that. It's like an animal. Something going on there. Yeah, it works. Yeah, it does. All right. Cool. It looks kind of strange because, like, it doesn't really match the sky right yet. <laughs> so I'll have to see how it goes later. But I really wanted to put in the little figurines. Okay. 
So now we got to get the rest of this fleshed out. And we are, ooh, we're already at 8 o'clock. Holy baloney. So that's been like two hours already. Wow. Okay. So this is definitely taking longer than, which, again, it does, it does make sense. There's so much detail in this. Okay. So I want to start putting in the sides. So I want to do what? I'm going to get like a lighter brown going, maybe a little grayish. So I can put in, so I want to bring this out. So. Be a little thicker. And it comes to the front. Okay. It's the same thing on this side. And then I'm, I want to do another line like that. Just underneath it. And again, it's thicker as it comes out. Do the same thing on the other side. On that side as well. Cool. And then we're going to do the same thing at the bottom. I'm just going to thicken up that line a bit more. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing on that side. And then I want to put in some of the lines of this structure, which is actually going to sit behind. <laughs> okay, how am I going to do this? Okay, can you still see that? Kind of, yes, no, maybe.
态。So we have just like a line of that, okay? And then we're gonna do this side as well. So again, front. Okay, so we have more perspective with this lovely pattern that we got going on. Okay, and then we have what? Kind of looks like weird, like hills in the background right now, which is fine. Okay, so I want to continue and put in some more of this pattern so we have more texture. Okay, so how am I going to do this? Do I want this brush? I think I do. Okay, so I'm just going to get a different kind of shade to play with. I think I want it to be a bit more round. Still look gray, but like I want it to have a little bit different to it. Okay, and how are we doing this? Okay, so we have to. <laughs> It's okay, so I have to. I think I'm gonna have to continue, and I have to put in those lines again after, just so that these are continuous. Okay, so now I'm just going the other way to the oh. Let's see. <laughs> Back there, it doesn't matter. You can't even tell what's going on. So just have like a crisscrossy type of vibe happening at the front. Okay, I'm gonna want to do the same thing on the side. So I'm not sure which way the best way to go is. To be honest with the side, okay, I'm gonna start this way. Then. Just putting like diagonal lines 
I'm not really worrying too much about how specific or detailed they are because I just want that feeling of it happening. So I just want, oops, I want it too dark. Let's go the other way. I have to go over the boards again, I think, the other way, but that's okay. So now I want to just go back in and just go over these. But these are in the foreground in front of the other beams. Okay. These are even more in the foreground. And the ones that go across. All right, so we got some crisscrosses happening. Vibe of this. I think I'm almost done. I know it's not as flushed out as I want it to be, but I'm gonna just put in a little bit of detailing now. So I'm gonna get my thin brush, fine brush, and I'm gonna add a little bit of detail. Okay, so where do I wanna start? So I have black. So I'm going to put a nice black line across the bottom of this guy. Okay. Let's do the same thing on this side. Okay. I'm going to put another black line kind of in the middle of it. I'm going to probably dissipate a little bit. Okay, that's good. And yeah, just kind of on here. Okay. And then I want to do another line underneath this guy. Okay. And same on this side. thicker as it comes to the front. Okay. And then I want to do another one. Yeah, I want to put 
I want to emphasize these here. These posts, a little black line on them. I'm going to do the same. Oh, no, I need to do it on my lap or something because I cannot do this one upright. Okay, that's going to be coming down that way. That way. I keep my black paint nice and ink like. I have a nice line, so I just put some lines in like that. I feel like it never looks good until you put in all these little detailing, and then all of a sudden it's like, whoa! It looks amazing! <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, that's already making it pop real nice. Okay, cool. What else do we need? Some black. Um, oh, yeah, I don't think I have any posts connecting it to the base. That's kind of interesting. Hmm. All right, well, I'll give it the feeling that there's posts just by putting a little black line like that. Right, put some green in it afterwards because now it's at least, like, somewhat connected. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Okay, and then where else do we want to put some black? So we might even want to put some black, maybe, like under, mm-hmm, you do want to do that, so that is going to make it look really good. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Only the one we're going to emphasize is the other one. So yeah, I'm just going to hold it and do it right now. Sorry about that. Okay, so that's what I've done, and then by putting that little line in, it looks really, really nice, I think. Aw, thanks, Amanda. Thank you, Tina, and thanks, Linda. I'm glad you're all enjoying it. I can't wait to see everyone's version. It's a very fun perspective, man. Whew. Okay. Um, I want to put a little bit of white too into a little bit of highlight. I know it's already like, oh man, okay. I'm trying to be conscientious to try and stick within the two hour limit, which we're already at 2.15, but you know, is all good. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to just put a little bit of this highlight. I don't even know, I can't even tell it's white. What is going on? Okay. On the top here, and on top here-ish, 
Okay. And on top here. Okay. And also down here. And then also here. do a little bit of white in the same way that we did the other ones. Just do some of the emphasis. But I'm not going to worry about being as precise with it. I just want to get the just get the color on here. I guess the hue, no, the color. <laughs> cool. <laughs> You're right, Kim. <laughs> No, you're right. I feel like I'm going very quickly through it. I'm trying to be cognizant of the time, but yeah, this one is, yeah, it's a little bit of a beast. Absolutely. <laughs> and I do want to, like, play more with, like, even all the little things on the bridge, and I feel like it's going to take forever if I start doing that. But I, I still kind of want to. So, eh. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to... So put a white line on these two. Why not? Let's do it. Here, it's like just like little touches, so we know like the same kind of thing is happening, but like we're not worrying so much about it. I'm talking about, let me do the same thing on this side, but again, I'm gonna kind of do it on my leg. <laughs> what am I doing here? Oh, I put black in a weird spot there. That's weird. Okay, so I'm just going to I'll show you. I'm just putting the highlight now. If anyone has jumped on and they're like, "What are you?" I can put. Ah. <laughs> Definitely touched the wrong thing. So I just put a little bit of white there as well. And I think we need to do a little bit to know that there's still that other one that's going the other way because now it's kind of been like hidden in this whole forest. And I guess I should also like actually make it look like it's gray here. So <laughs> this bridge is actually connected in some way to, or the railing is actually connected to the bridge here. Yeah, that's better. It's <laughs> a little bit of gray. Let's just connect those two, shall we? Okay, and then I want to, like I said, I want to just, I want to, we need to make this background stripe still, I want to be able to still know that it's like a crisscross. 
what's happening back here. So I have to, I'm not even going to do white on it. I think I'm just going to put in this like black. Yeah, that makes it look way better. Okay, so I'm just going to... Okay. Yes. That is what I want to do. So I'm not being very specific, but I'm just going and putting in a little shadow on the lines that cross the other way. Maybe it is being a little specific, I don't know. <laughs> you guys can decide. But uh, I am digging the way that's looking. And it gives it more of that painterly kind of vibe, but it still has that perspective and it, it looks more details there. So I like that. This looks still weird because like the sky doesn't look right. Right? Like that looks kind of strange. I don't have horses, Kim. I think actually, I think it was my phone vibrating because <laughs> the vibration sounded really weird. <laughs> And I think that was the timing when you wrote, which is kind of strange. <laughs> but I think it was horses. That's funny. You sound like horses, but no, I do not. That'd be nice. I kind of want to just like mess up this background here because I feel like it doesn't make sense. I'm just going to put some white to make it maybe feel like there's like clouds or something. I don't know. Maybe they're... Yeah. I don't know. So it's not like perfect blue because I feel like that's weird. Right? I don't want to draw. I also have like a nature kind of soundtrack thing on because um, I would love to have music playing but there's copyright laws and my little dog thing that I just want to I'm going to mess it up a little bit so I feel like it was a little too yeah that's better I think I just messed it up a little bit. Is the bridge opening too low? Possibly. Hi, Gina. Oh, that's okay. This is still available. You can watch this at any point. Like, I'm not, uh, the video will still be up and available if you want it to check it out another time I think you can rewind it too if you want to okay so I think I want to put in a few little like detail lines just on this like and then I and and then I at that point I think I'm gonna say I'm done for tonight I think I think I'm just gonna get some black I want to put in a little bit of like I notice that it's a little bit like there's a shadow happening on this side. Oh, my black is so dry. Okay, I'll just 
do it like that. And I'll just put a few little. No, I don't want to do this. I'm like this. I don't think I want to do much more because I feel like I'm just going to ruin it if I put too much more stuff going on. Yeah, it's definitely possible that it is. I think so. All right, and then I think I'm going to leave it as is. I think I'm going to call it a day or a night for it. Yes. Was that a challenge or what? Okay. Let's just come back to me, my people. There you go. Awesome. Whoop. My camera's falling over. Maybe I should keep it low. All right. So thank you all for joining me this evening. I hope you enjoyed our um, version of this beautiful photo taken by Michael Lyons, Canadian photographer and dear friend. Check out his website and see if uh, you get inspired with some more of his beautiful work. Um, there will be three more options coming to you on Saturday so you can vote for your favorite and then I will paint again the winner um, live next Wednesday and uh, you can all join me and that will be really fun again. So this is this week's painting. I'm pretty happy with it. Boy was it challenging. I feel like it's definitely like a little crooked, <laughs> but what can you do? <laughs> so if you were just catching the end and you want to check this out, this will be available on the Lisa's Paint Party site under the videos tab. It'll also be on my YouTube channel under Lisa's Painting Parties, and um, you'll be able to watch it whenever you so desire. Um, if you enjoyed, feel free to leave me, uh, buy me a coffee. Um, that's the way you can leave me a tip if you'd like. No pressure to do so. Otherwise, um, have a fantastic rest of your evening. Great week. And if you do paint along with me, I'd love to see your painting. So please snap a picture of it and share it. Um, that's all for today. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye, everyone.